The offense was an issue as well. Why do you think the bats went quiet this afternoon? Um, yeah, I mean, those guys did a good job of getting ahead of us, making good pitches with two strikes, and, and we weren't able to string anything together. Um, you know, I think that on um, just one of those days where, you know, they got the best of us, and obviously once um, once they really were able to extend the lead like that, get the game out of reach, just, um, you know, I think we just kind of, um, unfortunately, we threw away some at-bats there at the end of the game that, you know, maybe, maybe wouldn't have made a difference in the game and the outcome, but um, something that we all collectively need to do better at. Game aside, you guys still did win the series. The Joey Gallo trade became official right before the game. Just what was your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, obviously a big move. You know, this time of year, there's there's a lot of anticipation with with what's going to happen, not just, um, you know, with our team, but across the league. And it's an exciting time of the year. And he's a guy that, um, you know, is obviously going to come in here. And we plan to, um, you know, obviously have a lot of fun with him. And, and I think he's the guy that can make a big difference on both sides of the ball. So, Excited to excited to get him in here and get him to be part of the guys and feel comfortable and um, watch him play. We can take a next question from Ken Davidoff. Hey Brett, how do you anticipate your playing time being impacted by the Gala trade? Oh, um, I'm not sure. I mean, I really don't have any expectations or anticipate anything. I mean, show up to show up to work tomorrow and, and be ready to go, whether that means I'm playing left or center or on the bench or whatever whatever it is whatever my role may be so um you know we'll see how things shake out moving forward but um you know just continue to work on the things that that i need to work on you haven't spoken with Aaron or anyone else about it no thanks we can go next to marley rivera hi brett obviously you've been with the yankees for a very long time and there's been a Right now, you guys haven't been able to really sweep series or just kind of close out uh, these kind of series, particularly one as important as this one. Um, what do you think that is? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, uh, obviously, it's hard to win a series on the road, much less sweep. And it seems like for the last few years, especially, it's been tough to come down here and, and win one game, much less two or three. So, um, you know, I mean, we just we just came out kind of flat today. Um, you know, obviously, the first inning, they had a big first inning and pulled out to a pulled out to a four run lead, and then. Uh, obviously, the beginning that we talked about, but um, you know, offensively, we just gotta we just gotta do better. Uh, we gotta do a better job of grinding out at bats and 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 hitting with runners in scoring position and guys on base. And um, you know, we obviously got beat on both sides of the ball today. But um, you know, obviously happy about winning the series. But um, you know, at, at the point where we are we are at in the season, like you said, um, sometimes winning the series isn't enough. So. Um, just got to treat each day with the utmost importance and, um, you know, continue to do that tomorrow.